Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. I am super excited to share a little DIY with you guys. I haven't done a DIY video in quite a while. Um, but yeah, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make your very own reusable sticker book with just like scraps of things that you have. I do sell reusable sticker books in my shop and basically what they are, um, they are just these sticker release papers and you can put your stickers on here, any leftovers, and it just makes carrying stickers around, especially when traveling, very easy because you don't have a million different sheets. Now this is a professionally made one that I sell in the shop, but I will be showing you guys how to make your very own at home. I used a vellum cover for mine, and this is a little example. Um, and I also added a little pocket in the back, so if you have like little sticker sheets, you can also stick it in there. A quick rundown of all of the ingredients that you will need. First up are these sticker release paper scraps. You might be wondering where in the world can you get this? Um, I actually don't know. Maybe you can get it on Amazon. I will try to do some searching. But the point of this project is to use up some scraps so what you can do is anytime you finish up a sticker sheet from any store you can peel up the top layer i'm gonna ruin this sheet but it's my own so that's okay you can peel up this top layer and again because you've already finished the sheet all of the stickers will be gone and you are left with the sticker release paper so you can just save that, save a bunch of them. Um, the larger ones are from the kits and create this DIY. Okay, then you will need an adhesive of some sort. This is just a adhesive tape runner. You can also use glue, a pencil and ruler, just some regular plain white paper. You can use cardstock or printer paper to bind the pages together. You can use a stapler or you can also sew it together. And then lastly, for the cover, you can use whatever types of paper that you have. I am going to use vellum because it is just so pretty. And one more thing that you're going to need is some form of cutter. You can use scissors, you can use an exacto knife. I am going to use my guillotine paper trimmer. This thing is very, very handy. I've had this for like five or six years at this point, and it just makes cutting paper and crafty projects so simple. Um, I think I got this for like 25 bucks, so I will try to find it and link it down below. Step one is going to be trimming the sticker release paper down to size. You can see that these ones have rounded corners because the sticker sheets in my shop have rounded corners. I want them all to be even, so we are going to use my paper trimmer to do exactly that. I think in the end, I want the width to be three inches. And the height is going to be four and a half. Step two, we're going to work with the regular paper or cardstock that you have. I'm going to put on the screen how to very, very easily find out the dimension that you need to cut. For mine, it is going to be four and a half inches tall. And then the width is just going to be double the width of these sheets. Um, so for me, since each of these are three inches wide, um, I need this paper to be six inches wide. Now, as you can see, it doesn't go up until six inches. However, I know that the width of this paper is eight and a half inches. So we just need to subtract two and a half inches. Now that we have this, I am just going to fold this in half. Okay, step three, we are going to use adhesive. So with your uh, sticker release paper, one side has a wax coating and the other side is just plain paper. And you want to 
apply the adhesive on the plain side. Just try your best to line it up. Okay, this tape runner um, is colored, which I didn't expect, so you can kind of see it in the back. This is really bothering me. I don't like seeing that. I'm gonna redo this. I just cut up a new piece of sticker release paper. Oh! This one's colored too. That is so awkward. It's not um, as bad <laughs> as the previous one. Okay, we will just keep going. So ideally, you would want a clear tape runner. Okay, so we're gonna continue doing this until all sides are covered. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have the inside page and this is covered in sticker release paper. Up next, we are going to work with the vellum. This is going to be the cover. So with this little booklet thing that we created, I'm going to insert this um, matching up with the top of the vellum. Then I'm going to make a little mark maybe a centimeter away. Then I'm just going to cut it vertically where we made the mark. I'm then going to make a mark of where I want the front cover to end and then also where the bottom should be. Then we're going to open up the flap and with only the front cover, I'm going to trim it down perfectly to the size of the front cover. So once you insert it, this should be pretty much perfect. I'm then going to take my scissors and trim down the center up until this mark. This might be a bit more difficult, especially because we're relying on my own accuracy. And then I'm going to chop off this entire part. So I'm going to push down the guillotine, but I'm going to make sure to stop so that I don't cut off this part. A little bit more. Then with this little flap, I'm going to fold it up. This is going to make the pocket. Make another mark of where this should end. So then I'm going to trim off this section so that the front and back cover are now the same size. So I'm going to start off by snipping this part. I want this pocket to be kind of fun, so I'm actually going to round it go and then I'll just use my scissors and then I'm going to fold this flap inwards this is where I'm going to put the adhesive And voila, we have a little pocket now where we can store little knickknacks. The final step is going to be assembling the book. So this is where you can use a stapler. I am going to sew mine together just for the fun of it. If you have binder clips handy, this is where I would use it. But 
I am too lazy to go get some, so I'm gonna use some clothespins for laundry. <laughs> There we have it, our very own reusable sticker book. You can go ahead with putting some stickers down. And I think this will just be so fun to carry, especially when traveling or something. So, um, of course you can make this with whatever cover you want. Um, you can use cardstock paper and you can make it however big you want and however many inside pages you want. Um, yeah, so I hope this quick little DIY was useful. Definitely let me know if you give it a try. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!